Hey there, welcome to the channel. Today we're diving into an exciting topic, how to extend Phi data with knowledge. But before we get started, let's do a quick recap. What is Phi data? It's an agentic framework designed for building AI agents. If you're not familiar with it yet or need a refresher, check out my previous videos. Links are in the description. Now, let's explore how Phi data uses its powerful knowledge component. Phi data knowledge to enhance AI agents. By integrating domain-specific context, it enables AI assistants to better understand user queries and deliver precise, relevant responses. The secret behind this lies in the knowledge base, which works best with vector databases. These databases excel at quickly retrieving relevant information from complex data by using embeddings. Here's the process in a nutshell. First, the knowledge is divided into smaller, more manageable chunks to ensure accurate search results. These chunks are then transformed into embedding vectors and stored in a vector database. When a user submits a query, it is also converted into an embedding, and the system searches for the closest matches or nearest neighbors in the database. This allows the AI agent to retrieve the most relevant information quickly and efficiently. Phi data comes equipped with pre-built knowledge bases designed for various data sources, including PDF, CSV, JSON, and many more formats. To utilize a knowledge base effectively, it must first be loaded with embeddings, which are essential for data retrieval. You can streamline the entire process of chunking, loading, searching, and optimization by using one of these ready-to-use knowledge bases. We'll be using PG Vector, an extension for PostgreSQL that enables you to store and query vector embeddings directly within your database. This powerful tool essentially transforms your PostgreSQL database into a vector database, allowing you to perform efficient similarity searches alongside your traditional data queries. That said, you're not limited to PGE Vector. You can also leverage other vector databases like Pinecone, ChromaDB, or SingleStore for your needs. To set up a PostgreSQL database with the PG Vector extension, you have two options, installing it locally or using a hosted service for convenience. For local installation, refer to the link provided in the video description. In this demo, We'll simplify the process by utilizing Timescale as our hosted service. To get started, create a Timescale account and set up a PostgreSQL database with the PG Vector extension enabled. After setting up your PostgreSQL database with the PG Vector extension in Timescale, make sure to retrieve the connection string. This connection string is essential for connecting your application to the database and using it effectively in your project. Let's get started. Launch Visual Studio, open the terminal, and set up a Python virtual environment. Once the virtual environment is activated, install the Phi data and open AI libraries. Next, ensure that you obtain your open AI API key and set it up in your environment variables. In this tutorial, we will begin by creating knowledge bases in various formats, such as CSV, PDF, and JSON. Each of these formats will serve as a separate source of information. After creating the individual knowledge bases, we will combine them into a unified format, allowing us to work with a consolidated knowledge base. Finally, we will implement a retrieve and generate RAG agent, which will be capable of retrieving information from the combined knowledge base and generating contextually relevant responses based on that information. Let's dive in. To begin building the CSVK knowledge base, we need to install a few Python packages that will help us interact with the database and manage vector embeddings. These packages include SQL Alchemy, which is a SQL toolkit, and Object Relational Mapping, ORM, library for Python, enabling us to interact with the database using Python objects. Next, we'll install PG Vector a PostgreSQL extension designed for storing and querying vector embeddings, which is essential for handling the embeddings generated from the CSV data. Lastly, we'll install PsychoPG2, 
a PostgreSQL adapter for Python that allows us to connect to and interact with the PostgreSQL database. Once these packages are installed, we'll be ready to implement the functionality for reading CSV files, converting the data into vector embeddings, and storing them in the PostgreSQL vector database. Let's run and see how this code performs in action. This code demonstrates how to set up a knowledge base and interact with it using an agent. It initializes a CSV knowledge base by connecting it to a PostgreSQL database with vector search capabilities using the CSV knowledge base class and PG vector. The agent is then created, linked to the knowledge base, and configured to search it. After loading the knowledge from the CSV, the agent is used to query the data. In this case, asking about the yearly count of businesses in the agriculture industry. The agent processes the question and returns a response based on the knowledge base. Let's validate the CSV data in PostgreSQL to ensure that it has been properly loaded, vectorized, and indexed, which is essential for the agent to provide accurate responses. As you can see, the data is properly stored in PostgreSQL, and the agent can successfully load the data after insertion ensuring that the knowledge base is ready for querying. This code sets up a system where an agent can query a knowledge base stored in a JSON file with the data vectorized and stored in a PostgreSQL database using the PG vector extension. The JSON knowledge base class is used to load the JSON data while PG vector connects to a PostgreSQL database for storing vector embeddings of the knowledge. The agent class is then initialized with the knowledge base, allowing the agent to search and respond to queries. When the agent.printed response, what is GAN, is called, the agent searches the knowledge base and returns a relevant answer about generative adversarial networks, GANs. Let's confirm that the JSON data in PostgreSQL is correctly loaded, vectorized, and indexed, which is crucial for the agent to return accurate responses. As you can see, it looks good, confirming that the JSON data is properly loaded. Next, we will create a PDF URL knowledge base. To start, we will first install the PIPDF2 package, which is commonly used for working with PDF files in Python. This code sets up an agent that queries information from a PDF document stored in a PostgreSQL database. It uses the PDF URL knowledge base class to fetch a PDF from a URL RxC website and store its content in the database using PG vector. The agent class is configured to search the knowledge base for answers. After loading the knowledge base, the agent can respond to queries such as what is SAM by extracting relevant information from the stored PDF. As you can see, the agent retrieves information about SAM from the provided URL. Now, we will run the combined knowledge base. This Python code is setting up a system where an agent can query a combined knowledge base to retrieve information. The combined knowledge base is created by merging two different knowledge sources, knowledge base PDF and knowledge base JSON. It utilizes PG vector as a vector database to store the combined documents in a PostgreSQL database, specifically in the table combined documents. The database connection details are provided via the DB URL. The agent class is then initialized with this combined knowledge base as its knowledge source, and it is configured to search through this knowledge base when querying. The agent loads the knowledge base without recreating it, meaning it reuses the existing data. Finally, the print response method of the agent is called with the query, what is SAM, to output the response based on the combined knowledge. We can also run a second prompt, such as what is GAN, to get another response. We have now learned how to utilize the PhiData knowledge base for various data sources. The next step is to implement Retrieval Augmented Generation, RAG, which involves stuffing the prompt with relevant information to enhance the model's responses. This process is carried out in two steps. First, retrieving relevant information from the knowledge base, and second, 
augmenting the prompt to provide the necessary context for the model. To illustrate this, we will build a traditional retrieval augmented generation RAG agent designed to answer questions from a PDF containing recipes. This Python code sets up a knowledge-enhanced AI agent using tools for question answering. The agent from the PHI.agent module is initialized with an OpenAI chat model, GPT-4, and a knowledge base. The knowledge base is created using PDF URL knowledge base, which loads content from a recipe PDF hosted online. The content from the PDF is stored as embeddings in a PG vector database for efficient similarity searches. The vector embeddings are stored in the AI.recipes table. The knowledge base is loaded with the PDF content, and the agent is configured with Retrieval Augmented Generation, RAG, which helps it provide more relevant responses by referencing the knowledge base during conversation. The agent is set to not search for knowledge during the conversation, instead relying on the preloaded knowledge. It is also configured to return responses in markdown format. Finally, the agent is used to answer specific questions about recipes, such as, how do I make chicken and galangal in coconut milk soup? And the code provided does not use memory, so the agent cannot recall previous questions like, what was my last question? In traditional RAG, setting add so context equals true always appends information from the knowledge base to the prompt, even if it may not be relevant or helpful to the question. With agentic RAG, the agent decides whether it needs to access the knowledge base and what search parameters are required to query it. Let's try enabling search knowledge equals true and read chat history equals true, giving the agent the ability to search both its knowledge base and chat history on demand, allowing it to make more contextually informed decisions. As you can see with the same code, we simply enabled search knowledge equals true and read or chat history equals true. This configuration allows the agent to search both its knowledge base and chat history on demand, enhancing its ability to retrieve relevant information based on the current context. We have explored a powerful concept, building a RAG, retrieval augmented generation, agent with Phi data knowledge. This approach allows the agent to dynamically access and incorporate external knowledge specifically curated for a particular domain to supplement its responses. By leveraging Phi's knowledge base, the agent can retrieve highly relevant information that goes beyond its initial training data, offering more accurate and specialized responses. This enables the agent to fill knowledge gaps and make more informed decisions, as it can now draw from a rich domain-specific resource, improving both the quality and depth of its outputs. The key advantage here is that the agent can continuously access and update its knowledge from an external source, ensuring that it stays relevant and well-informed even in rapidly changing or highly specialized fields.